Okay, guys, we're going to try this. Um, this is my Brassier Rex that we're going to repot. I'm going to put this over to the side uh, so I don't forget and accidentally throw it away or something. Um, we're going to begin by trying to loosen up this bark. Um, I'm just going to slowly pour it in this bag that I'm using as a trash bag right now. As far as I can see right now, it um, doesn't have too bad of roots. I'll show you all in a minute. Um, but I'm going to try to be easy and getting this bark out. Um, it was due for a repot, and I really wanted to get it out of this clay pot right now, because I saw some mold on the bark. So I just wanted to be able to get some of this out. Let's see. Well, let me pause this. So I can go ahead and get all of this out, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I unpotted it and went downstairs and rinsed it under the kitchen sink. And here's all the roots that, um, that it has. Now I'm going to pause and go through and fill um, for dead roots. If they're dead, they'll be kind of mushy and squishy. And then some roots just pull off completely. Um, so that's what I'm going to go through and do. But I think it'll have a lot of the roots left because most of them feel really nice and firm. And I've seen some light little grow tips on here. So I think it, it'll bounce back really well from this repot. And it might actually do better than what it already has because it looks so well. Um, and it, it did need to get out of the pot. Um, there was a um, centipede in the bottom of the pot, just a little one, and there was the media was starting to break down, but not bro broken down completely. But um, I'm gonna pause this video and cut off the dead roots real quick. Okay, and this is what I am left with. Like I said, there's a lot of good roots here. Um, there was an old really old pseudobulb down here that I just decided to cut off but now um, we are going to spray these roots down with a hydrogen peroxide mix um, there's some water in here but um, it's mostly hydrogen peroxide I'm just going to sterilize all these good roots make sure everything's going to be okay um, make sure everything's healthy and very well cleaned. I can hear, it's going to be hard to let you guys hear it, but um, I'm just going to tell you about it. I can hear the sizzling going on. So, I really just want to make sure that I get all these really well. I want to make sure that I do that. And I think that's good. Um, so that's how I cleaned it. I have a paper towel that I have down here that I'm just going to sit it on for right now and move it to the side. Alright, so this is the pot of toast. It's got plenty of um, drainage. And first, I think I've decided that I am going to put, let's see if they, make sure they don't fall out. I'm going to put some of the hydroponic beads down in the bottom and make sure there's going to be some that, um, are going to be too small. Uh, this bag has different sizes in it. Um, 
turn. I'm just gonna fill it up a little bit. It's got plenty of drainage anyway. I just want most, most of just the skim of the bottom to be filled with hydroponics. I wanna make sure all this is filled up. Better. Like I said, I don't really care. It's not filled up much, but it'll be filled up enough. pretty good for now. Um, I just want to, like I said, just put a little bit at the bottom. Um, so that'll be plenty. I want to mix up this bark. This is just a regular bark. I'm going to start making my own bark. I mean, not making my own bark, but my own mixes. Um, but I just haven't had time to get the material, so... Today we're just going to stick with this regular bark that you find at Lowe's. Um, it works well. I just want to decide, I've decided that I just want it to go ahead and start using my own. Um, I did use sterilized scissors when I was cutting my roots. I wanted to clarify that. They were definitely sterilized. I, I use a lighter and make sure that it's well in um, it's, make sure that it has gotten um, sterilized can't think of the word this is also just some bark that I have left over from repotme.com and I'm just going to add a little bit in I don't want to put in too much. I just figured that I'll mix a little of the mix in. And then maybe it, it'll... I don't know. Because repotme.com has... I found... Uh, they have some, like, rocks in there. Um, and then... Some very nice size perlite. That's a big piece of perlite. But I'm just mixing them up. I'm also going to um, put in some of these hydroponic beads in there too. Um, I'm not going to put too many. Just enough. Alright. So, I'm going to go ahead and put in just a little bit of bark at the bottom. Now. And I'm going to sit this in here. Make sure that you put the oldest bulb up against the plastic if you can. Um, if not, just try to put it as far as over as you can. And um, just sit it in there like that. I'm actually going to un like take some of this work out. Because it was actually just a little too much. Um, But, I'm going to sit it in there just like that, and I'm going to backfill now, and instead of like pushing down with your fingers, when you want to make sure the bark falls down in there, just tap it on in there like that. While you're holding the orchid, see my fingers are holding the orchid, I'm gripping the orchid, and just kind of slam it down on whatever surface that you're working on, and then start filling it again. Um, this just helps it stay stabilize the plants, and actually works really well. Um, my friend that gives me all these orchids, he's taught me how to pot. He said he still wants to show me some more potting techniques, but um, he has taught me a lot, and I'm glad that I have him as a friend to show me um, how to do the, this potting. Um, I probably wasn't doing it right at the very beginning of my orchid collection, though. But you know, I think everybody does that, and. 
that's just how it turns out. I'm going to pause this real quick so the video isn't too long and try to get some more bark in the bottom of this. Alrighty, I wanted to just show you the finished product. So here it is. Uh, I put that back bulb right here all the way up against the pot. And um, it probably won't take it long to grow out of this pot actually, but I wanted to keep it in um, a similar size pot for right now because it still has space for more pseudo bulbs and you can still see some roots um, but other than that it's all done really nice and it's stable if I wobble it it's not going to move around so that's good so everything looks good and I'm glad you joined me on this repotting adventure because it went well I don't have any complaints actually, so I can't say anything. Um, I hope you all liked this video. Um, if you liked it, please hit like and subscribe if you're not already subscribed. And I would like to thank all my subscribers. Um, it just means a lot to me because it shows me that um, people actually want to watch me um, grow in my orchid collection and share my knowledge even though I'm just I'm not a kid I'm a teenager but as it's just fun to show other people and tell other people my knowledge and my orchids and I am so thankful and happy that you are here to join me on these lovely occasions and I will talk to you next time bye